Okay. All right. Precipitated withdrawals. Um, I've only gone through precipitated withdrawals once, but I have gone through them and I'll talk about that and what that was like for me and how it happened. Um, I think most of us probably know what precipitated withdrawals are. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll kind of explain like, okay, for instance, I was talking to a guy the other day, he was using heroin, took a bunch of heroin. I think he got in, he must've got injected with naloxone. Uh, maybe he took naltrexone. I don't, I don't even know, but more than likely, yeah, if he was using IV, probably naloxone and it does the complete opposite. So if you're high as a kite and your opioid receptors are going, it'll completely reverse it just like that. And you will go into hell, terrible, very intense withdrawals. And it sucks. I mean, obviously it's fun withdrawal. I mean, it's like it, it's, it, you go from zero to the pinnacle of acute withdrawal. Okay. That that's what it is. Uh, and, and see like naloxone, that's the, that's IV. Okay. Now Trexone is orally, you know what I mean? But they do the same thing. They, they will, you know, be you, you know, a lot of us know this, you know, you did the game, you played the game, you know, there's heroin addicts that carry the freaking pin on them. Just, you know, in case like, Hey, if I overdose and I'm dying, shoot me. It saves lives. It saves lives, but it's not fun. You know, some people probably think oh, I would rather would have died, which that's not true, but I'm just, you know what I mean? Uh, cause it's terrible. It, it really is terrible. Uh, and, uh, oh man. Okay. So, okay. So, so yeah, this, yeah, you know, and like Suboxone has Naloxone in it and they do that. So people don't shoot up. I hear people that get around that though. I also hear there's a lot of people that don't get around it. Uh, but anyway, but yeah, that, that's why that's in there, uh, is to, is to keep you more honest. So anyway, so when I did it, now, here's the thing, too. Okay, here's the thing with buprenorphine and, 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 and uh, you know, when you're taking Suboxone and stuff. So, I think most, a lot of us probably know this. When you go to the Suboxone clinic, or what, yeah, when you go to the Suboxone clinic, you got to be, like, in somewhat of a withdrawal, okay? And depending on what you took, too. That's a big factor, and this is what the factor was with me. Uh, you know, you got to at least be getting the sweats and starting to feel uncomfortable. If you go in there, if you go in there and you're high as a kite, and you take Suboxone, watch out, okay? Watch out. You can go into precipitated withdrawals. Now, when I did it the first time, I went way overboard. I was already, and I did it on purpose. It was terrible. Uh, you know, I was two days in on morphine and oxy withdrawal, and I'm in that clinic. And this was a pill mill. It took me three hours there. I mean, I was miserable. I was like on the chair, laying on the ground. I didn't even care. It was terrible. But I was fine. I was fine. I took the Suboxone, got, you know, right... But the second time I got on and I knew it was going to be, and I bounced it. When I was using Suboxone my first years ago, I'd bounce back, you know, take pills for a little bit, take Suboxone some and kind of bounce back and forth. So I kind of knew how to do it and wiggle around. Uh, I actually have a video on that, uh, taking, Subo taking opiates or taking other opiates or something with Suboxone or Suboxone with other opiates, whatever. Um, but this time around, I knew it was going to be interesting because I, all I was taking was methadone because that's all I could get. So I'm like, oh, and methadone is a long effing half-life son of a bitch medicine. Sorry, I hate it. And so I, I was like, okay. So I stopped taking methadone for a few days before I go in there, like three days and starting to kind of slowly get uncomfortable and I'm kind of waiting and I go in there. And I'm kind of getting the sweats and stuff and whatever. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, it's got to be okay, right? Like, so, uh, and this place was different. They just gave me, they just asked me like how much I'm taking, blah, 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 my history. And they just go, okay, here, and what were, yeah. And then they knew what I was prescribed, but you know, years ago on Suboxone. So they're like, okay, we're going to do this for you. We're going to start you out at this and go down, which was 32 milligrams of Suboxone. Cause I was just taking a lot of crap. And anyway, so I get home or go, yeah, go pick up my script, and I take the first eight milligram strip, and oh boy, uh, was not good, it went really, really south, really freaking fast, okay, now you might think, and I, and I at first didn't know, I'm like, oh my gosh, what, what do I freaking do here, do I, do I not take any more, or do I take more, or if I take more Suboxone, is it going to make all this freaking worse, or if I don't take anything, I mean, like, what the hell to, do I do? And I didn't even, I didn't have, the only things that I could, I could either take more Suboxone or I could call up my guy and get methadone, which at that point I'd cut him off anyway. So there really wasn't an option anyway. And my wife would have stabbed me. I would have rather gone through precipitated withdrawals than go find methadone at that point in my life because things just were getting so bad. Um, 
So I, I didn't know what to do. So I actually called them up and I'm like, I'm going through precip precipitated withdrawals. What do I do? And they're just like, keep taking the Suboxone. You got to just, you just got to keep taking it. They're like, take, you know, you know, you have 24 more milligrams that you can take today. Keep taking it. Take, take your 24 milligrams. Keep going. So I just, I take another strip. It was just shitty. Sorry, but it was terrible. Took another strip. To, so I took, you know, my 32 milligrams that day and it, it slowly started, it wasn't just like super intense for like the whole, you know, 12 hour day or whatever like that, but it sucked all day. The next day I still wasn't feeling great. I think probably midway through the next day. I don't even remember exactly. It's kind of a blur. It was terrible. And I started to just kind of level off. And I, that's what happened is I just eventually leveled off. Uh, but it sucks. I mean, it really, I mean, if I... Oh boy. I mean, I'm trying to think here. I mean, I've gone through, I'll make a video on like my worst withdrawal experiences. Just, you know, obviously most intense, but then things I had to do during withdrawal and stuff like that. I'll, I'll, I'll get into that, but man, oh boy, those precipitated withdrawals were pretty bad. I mean, as far as just intensity, I mean, I, when I was, I was coming just straight off of a crap load of morphine one time and that was just death. You know, it's, you're laying on the bathroom floor. You're, you want to die. You don't even care. You know, this was right up there with that. Me, I don't know. Maybe not quite as bad. I don't even know. But, but what made it bad is because this is also what made it bad though, is because you're not getting out of it. You know what I mean? Like there, you can't even just, you know, you can't even decide like, you know what? Screw it. I'm giving up. I'm going to use, no, no, you, you better keep, you, you better take more Suboxone. And then I don't know when this is going to end. I do not know when it's going to end. And I'm just thinking, I'm like, damn it, I'm an idiot. Methadone is such a long time. So that's why that's got to die down. The half-life of methadone, it's got to get out. And then the Suboxone will give me, I didn't know how many days it was going to be. I really, really didn't. Maybe it was, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to say it was just not good where I don't even remember some stuff, seriously. Because it was just, I just, I remember that first day. And like the next day, I know I wasn't feeling great. and But it eventually leveled off. But it's right up there, man. It sucks. It really, I think it can be unsafe too, can it? Or maybe not. In like really insane instances. I don't know if people get in shock or, or if you can have a heart attack or something. I really don't know that for sure. So I probably shouldn't say that. But I'm just saying maybe. I don't know. Read up on it. I know I will now because I'm interested in it now that I'm talking about it. But anyway, that's precipitated with freaking withdrawal. So yeah, be careful, dude. I mean, just be advised. Be advised uh, with that stuff. So anyway, God bless all y'all. Be for victory and salute.